Hi, today I have a question for you. What is the difference between 5' flanking region and 5' UTR? If you can explain, please take a sheet of paper, uh, make a picture and show as much detail as possible to define these two definitions. And um, if you're not sure about uh, the difference between these two definitions, I will show you now with uh, help of this picture. This is going to be uh, double-stranded DNA that is open it and RNA, message RNA that is going to be here is now uh, produced and uh, it's always produced in uh, one continuous uh, direction uh, continuously so we can uh, put 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here because uh, message RNA always grows from 5 prime end to 3 prime end continuously and this also gives us information that this is going to be 5 prime end here on this strand of DNA and 3 prime end here and uh, 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here and as you see 5 prime end and 3 prime end here also the same uh, in same direction like on the message RNA and message RNA we also call uh, sense uh, of course it have sense because uh, from this message RNA um, polyprotein would be produced and uh, so uh, this is also co called coding strand of DNA because the, the code or codons here are the same like on the message RNA in the same direction and coding is the same just uh, in message RNA uh, thymine is substituted with um, uracil and also this is can be called as positive and this one as negative strand of DNA and uh, coding on top, non-coding on the bottom and also template on the bottom and non-template on the top. So many different names just to uh, name two strands of uh, DNA. Uh, this may produce uh, some confusion but if you just keep to the idea that uh, message RNA that strands that make sense so another uh, uh, strand of DNA that goes in the same direction that is coding also called sense uh, strand and uh, another one anti-sense strand so eight different uh, words to uh, name just two strands of DNA. Uh, I have a video about naming. If you uh, would be confused, you just can search uh, other my videos and find a video about uh, naming of the strands of DNA. So today I want to show you uh, some sequences on this strand of DNA that called uh, Tata. AT and this sequence is uh, to which uh, promoter DNA or uh, promoter uh, protein binds and it's also called minus 10 region and this uh, region also have uh, minus 35 uh, region or sequence and this is Gatsa. So um, between these two sequences, uh, about 20 25 uh, nucleotides, but these nucleotides can be uh, any nucleotides, it doesn't matter which uh, uh, and uh, different, for example, 
mutations can happen and this doesn't affect how promoter uh, protein would binds but if uh, some mutations or deletions would happen in these sequences this might uh, affect uh, if message RNA would be produced at all or not so some uh, this also uh, call, called uh, consensus sequences because this is not uh, exactly sequence uh, that you might find in one bacteria this might be this sequence this particular sequence is from uh, E. coli but in other for example you may have TT here at the beginning or instead of this TA but the whole idea is that uh, for example if we make a purse so here going to be A T A T T A so you see uh, the pair A and T have two hydrogen bonds and C and G have three hydrogen bonds so this particular uh, sequence here consider it uh, a weak point on the strand of DNA uh, where mm, these two strands of DNA would be un unbind and separated and uh, this explains why uh, if C or G would be here uh, opening would be much harder of this uh, uh, two strands of DNA and um, now I also want to show one place on this DNA that is here and here we can five Y R Y and Y stands for pyrimidine and R stands for purine and next R stands for pyrimidine again so this is minus one and here is a plus one and plus two region on the strand of DNA, sense strand of DNA. So this is where um, message RNA transcribe starts. And uh, now I can, I want to show message RNA that is uh, already separated from uh, DNA. So this is message RNA. And uh, here we also have um, different sites. For example, here going to be a site that is called Shine Dalgarna. That is A G G A G G U. So once again, this is a sequence uh, from uh, E. coli. In other bacteria, it can be AGG, AGG, or uh, same sequence, almost the same GGAG uh, uh, can be found in such a uh, prophage uh, uh, like uh, bacteria phage like uh, T4. So, uh, this uh, also called Shine Dalgarna sequence. And this is a place to which uh, ribosome binds. And uh, ribosome consists of uh, proteins and uh, RNA. So it has also RNA that is complementary uh, to this sequence. This is how uh, this... Uh, ribosome uh, finds this particular place on the message RNA and this site also called uh, ribosome binding site so um, also uh, this doesn't mean that uh, message RNA start would be uh, translation would be start at this particular place uh, the start would be where is a start codon and start codon is a u g and this is about uh, eight nucleotides downstream from the 
sequence to which uh, um, ribosome binds. So um, this is going to be the place where uh, message RNA would be translated into the uh, protein sequence. So here we have Uh, a sequence that would be transcribed but not translated. So this we called five prime UTR, and this sequence here we call we call five prime flanking region. So um, I also didn't show here uh, in this uh, region some of the um, sequences to which enhancer proteins bind because such sequences can be at the upstream region hundreds of uh, nucleotides uh, away from this place and uh, even sometimes thousands nucleotides away and um, this sometimes does make sense because uh, uh, when uh, DNA in the condensed form and it's in in curled form, so when uh, these two sequences of the enhancer and promoter, these two sequences can be very close to each other. So uh, this is uh, the whole picture. And here is a protein. Uh, this is uh, a place where translation happens, and uh, so this is going. This is a place that would be transcribed but not translated, and uh, with green color I show the place where translation starts, and uh, five flanking wouldn't be uh, transcribed at all, and of course not translated. Also, I just want to uh, add a few more words that uh, at this uh, region here, five prime cap would be added, and uh, this cap needed in order to uh, make uh, message RNA stable and prevent degradation it, and also. Uh, if uh, on the overall this uh, region here we can uh, call a switch on and off so sequences uh, also exist here on the uh, 5 UTR so uh, 5 untranslated region that is also uh, works like uh, fine tuning that uh, may enhance uh, uh, production of the protein or uh, may suppress production of protein. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.